Well, it's time for my favourite player. Arguably the greatest of all time? Well, that is debatable. But Gary Ablett thrills thousands of people every week. And if you come down here, folks, and you listen to Radio 3AW, you might hear me say, out of the centre, Geelong Barnes knocks it across to Riccardi. Here comes he Ablett! Well, you know, folks, he's one of my favourite players, and this is why. Sitius, Altius, Fortius. Faster, higher, stronger. As the Atlanta Olympics wind down, it's appropriate that Gary Ablett is our feature study this week. For there hasn't been a footballer in the modern era who has encapsulated the three Olympic ideals more completely than the Geelong champion. He has soared with the birds. He has crashed through steel-willed opponents. He has singed the turf in his pursuit of goals. Oh, he's a light, Gary Ablett. Look at this. Here is the magician at work. He shoots towards goal. What more can you say? And as Melbourne was gripped by this year's Australian Grand Prix, the great man was given the chance to test his speed in another forum. While he wasn't able to participate in the celebrity race around Albert Park circuit, he did take his four-wheel skills to call the park. While it wasn't quite Formula One, the speed machine in which Ablett travelled gave him an insight into one of this nation's greatest sporting attractions. Uh, I've always uh, liked car racing and uh, you know, I certainly would love to uh, give it a go, but uh, for now I'll just uh, continue to do what I'm doing, playing football. So. The Australian Formula One Grand Prix has become one of the jewels in Australia's sporting crown. Having won the rights to stage the race from Adelaide, Melbourne turned on a spectacular event attracting more than 400,000 visitors. Next March, Formula One will again take over Albert Park for the first race on the World Championship calendar. And while Gary Ablett isn't having one of his best ever seasons, he remains one of the most breathtaking players in the game. When he started the centenary season with a nine-goal haul against Melbourne, we all thought he was set to break the 100-goal barrier for the fourth straight year. A miracle goal! But in round two, it all turned south when he crashed into St Kilda's Christian Bardsley, drawing the attention of the video review panel. The Cat superstar left the tribunal completely stunned and dejected after a two-and-a-half-hour hearing... Ablett was suspended for five weeks. Upon return, his form, like Geelong's, has been mixed. Injury has dogged the great Ablett. The Cats have been struggling to produce consistently. Ablett is just the sort of player, even at 35 years of age, who can turn his team's fortunes completely. There have been so many gold medal winning performances to this stage of his career. Who's to say the great man's greatest moment isn't just around the corner?